That girl sitting at the Mario family dinner is Mario and Luigi's niece. What? Which means Mario and Luigi have a third brother. Well, where's he been? He's never made an appearance. He kind of made an appearance as Petro Mario in the live action TV series. But it turned out Petro was just a scammer. <laughs> he wasn't <laughs> actually their brother. But 10 years ago, Miyamoto said that if he had to, he would make a third Mario brother. And it looks like that could come to fruition in the next Mario movie. The seeds at least been planted. Someone was missing from that Mario family dinner. Mario's niece was there, but where were the parents? I think it's Dr. Mario. Isn't Dr. Mario just Mario? No, it was confirmed that they're two different people. That would make sense, actually, because Dr. Mario is his own character in Smash. He's the third brother. And it makes sense, too. The flag of Italy? What are the colors? Red, green, and white. And it would make sense why Mario's dad was disappointed in him. His brother's a doctor, and he's a failing plumber. The reason he wasn't there? He's busy. He's a doctor with appointments. Dr. Mario is the third brother. Did you know the scariest character in the entire Mario universe isn't even a boss? It's not Bowser. It's not King War. It's a basic shy guy. I don't think he's that scary. Well, he's not so scary with his mask on, but anyone that has seen him without his mask has freaked out. You look at Luigi in Mario Power Tennis, you got one look at Shy Guy without his mask, went berserk. And this is a guy who saw real life ghosts in Luigi's mansion. In the movie, when Shy Guy's mask falls off during the rock and roll scene, the Koopas freak out, and the Goomba too. One even faints, and these are bad guys, known for aligning themselves with the scary people. And that Shy Guy still scared them. What do you think's under it? Now I don't want to know. Did you know Mario's Uncle Arthur? You give an Oscar for worst actors? Hey, what I do? Is actually Jake from Adventure Time. Dude, sucking at something is the first step towards being sorta of good at something. The voice actor? Yeah, they're the same dude. Not only does he voice Jake, he voices Bender. That's what I'm talking about. And Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. <laughs> Just take us to see him, little man. Now. Damn, he's really showing his range. You know what went totally under the radar in the Mario movie? Was that fight scene between DK and Bowser. Bowser handled him. Well, DK was getting some good shots on him. I think he knocked him down at one point. Yeah, but within seconds, Bowser, was, it was over. Yeah, I mean, Bowser took down DK, Peach, and Toad all at once. DK had a rough look in that movie. Got beat up by Mario, who didn't even know how to use his power-ups. And then he gets manhandled by Bowser. DK needs a redemption arc somewhere. Maybe the next movie. Yeah, that DK movie's gonna go hard. Who does Mario end up with? Peach or Pauline? It's gotta be Pauline. It's his first true love. Yeah, but Peach was made for him. But Peach doesn't need Mario anymore. Peach is the one that's going on the adventures and fighting evil people. But this is his soulmate. Is it his soulmate? Or just someone to help get his brother back? Pauline is where the chemistry's at. There was plenty of chemistry when they were in that fire flower field. And on top of that, there's a scene, like a one second scene, where you can see Mario and Peach are holding hands. Did you know Mario was never supposed to exist? What, in an alternate timeline? That doesn't make much sense. No, in the original Donkey Kong game that Mario was introduced in, he was never supposed to be a character in that game. That game was originally designed to be a Popeye game. Miyamoto and his team they wanted to create a game to capitalize off of Popeye's popularity. So they created an arcade style game where Popeye would try to save olive oil from Bluto. But Nintendo, they weren't doing so hot at the time, so they couldn't get the rights to Popeye. So instead of abandoning the project, they just switched up the characters. They made Popeye Mario, they made olive oil into Pauline, and they made Bluto into Donkey Kong. And thus, Mario was created. Mario and Luigi saved Brooklyn twice. Wait, I know he saved them at the end. Yeah, he also saved them at the beginning. Remember when they went down into the sewers right. to stop Brooklyn from flooding? Well, when they got back, it was just normal everyday activity. And when Mario and Luigi went down into the sewers, they did spin the wheel. Ah, that's right. But then he did bring Bowser's entire army to Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> Kind of negates it. A little bit of a trade-off there. Did you catch the funniest part of the Mario movie? Which part? 
It was during the scene where Mario's dad called out Mario for leading his brother to failure with his plumbing business. And as he's walking out, the grandpa is like slowly leaning over to try and get a bite of food from a spoon. <laughs> In the post credit scene when they show Yoshi's egg, it left everyone wondering, how did that egg end up in Brooklyn? I went back and I rewatched the movie. And in the wedding scene, one of the Koopas left an egg, Yoshi's egg. And then it got sucked up by the warp pipe when the bullet bill exploded. And now it's ended up in the sewers in Brooklyn. And the green Yoshi is apparently the rarest Yoshi of all the Yoshis. Yeah, we didn't see any of those when they were traveling through Yoshi's Island. Could Mario and Peach be the greatest power couple of all time? What makes you say that? I mean, if they got together, who beats them? Royalty? And a plumber. <laughs> a hero plumber at that. But are they really ever gonna get together? Mario keeps trying. They had so much chemistry. Every scene was just boiling with tension. Yeah, I mean, Donkey Kong and Toad noticed them flirting. And Bowser literally blew fire out of his nostrils when he saw him holding hands. So jealous. You know Princess Peach is a billionaire? <laughs> what? She made the Forbes billionaire list for fictional characters. All fictional characters? She's ranked, I think, 15th, and she's worth $1.3 billion. Well, she is royalty, so she technically owns all of the Mushroom Kingdom, right? Yeah, would it all have to come from inheritance? There's no one else to split it with. No dad, no mom, no brother, no sister. It all goes to her. I wonder if Bowser's just a gold digger. Don't let Wario get that information, though. Then he'll be after her, too. <laughs> And Mario, do you know how much he's worth? How much? About a plate of spaghetti. <laughs> Save the spaghetti! Save the spaghetti! I'm surprised Bowser Jr. wasn't in it, though. Which makes me think, like, who is Bowser's wife? Or ex-wife? Or baby mama. Listen, this theory that Peach is actually Bowser Jr.'s mom is outrageous. Bowser Jr. would look like a mutant human turtle dragon but he just looks like a smaller version of Bowser. I wonder if he got with a Koopa. Or, Bowser is so close with Kamek, what if it was Kamela? That old hag? <laughs> I don't know about that. Bowser's got some good taste in woman. I still can't believe Mario's dad was in the movie. And the fact that he had a family? But do you think his dad was a good dad? What did you think? I think you're nuts. You don't leave a steady job for some crazy dream. And the worst part, you're bringing your brother down with you. Well, thanks, Dad. Thanks for your support. Well, I think without that tough love, Mari wouldn't have had enough motivation to start his own plumbing company and save Brooklyn. I don't think Mario's dad meant any malice by his comments. He just expects greatness from his son. Yeah, I just wanted to see him succeed. Could have went about it a different way, though. <laughs> Dooby-dooby-doo, the Wentworth Bros.